evening so today we'll be learning again another topic okay in detail because if you see uh, from the beginning we are using approval okay approve reject out of the box flow okay but as of now we were using just the basics one okay that we are routing to a manager okay by a specific user okay so if i just click here in the routing we were using single levels and we were routing just to that manager and getting the approval but we'll go a little detail in this approval flow okay because this is the this flow is given by uh pega this out of the box okay so to configure here i have already configured but you have to what you have to do is just click up as plus a step and then click approve reject if i just do it will get added but i have already done that okay so we'll not add it again but we'll go in detail okay and we'll see that what all things we're doing in this approve reject flow so let's open this flow okay so we'll click here and click open process now click on this one okay and see that what all options do we have so the first is the define and current page if so for now for your level leave it this one as like this okay we don't have to change now to this one we have a single level and cascading level okay so let's under, understand that what is single level and cascading level so single level is sometimes let's say you are applying for leave or for anything or let's say you are transferring money from your account to another account okay uh, another account means your friend's account or someone's accounts so then you're creating a request okay so in that case what can happen that let's see for simple let's talk about the leave request only that if you're just raising for five days okay so single approval is fine your manager can just approve it no issues but you are leave, raising a leave request for more than 10 days or 20 days okay so then what will happen you need you, you need your director's approval as well okay so in that case how we can configure that the same case okay so the same leave request will go to your director also your director doesn't have to like uh, you, you don't have to reach it manually okay so in that case like the single approval is just your manager is approving but the cascading approval is that you okay your manager's manager is approving okay maybe or you need one more level okay that you need seniors director's approval also sometimes it happens in organization okay that manager will say no no i can i can only approve for five days but like if you're going beyond five days then you have to go to uh, uh, go and talk to director okay so uh, how our system can only interact with the directors okay if the condition is matching that one okay so so that is the cascading approval so let's understand both the single level if i just see so then route to logic so route to is meant means to whom we are sending okay so we have seen that we have participants okay participants mean that the work party you can go and and check a video i have created already on stakeholder okay or the participants okay so the, let's understand the very basics one a specific users means you can just select your manager's name here okay or manager id okay so let's say i have created this id okay of a manager if you see here five six seven eight nine okay so you just want to route it to him okay that's it okay and then if he's approving um, approving then you just want to resolve complete your leave request and if he's rejecting okay then here okay so instead of continuing so another question has also asked like in the comment section that how we can configure that rejection stage okay so here only pega is giving if rejected then continue okay or change or resolve okay so maybe you can resolve also but here we want to change okay change the stage to rejection stage okay because like uh, the moment we add approve reject stage pega will also add uh, uh, the moment we add approve reject flow pega will add a rejection stage so if the case is rejected maybe you need to resubmit okay or something you have to do so for that only pega is uh, uh, sending back to rejection stage so how we can configure in this one so we can simply select okay change stage and then at the moment we select pega will give an option that in which stage you want to go okay so we are already in approval stage so we want to go to approval rejection stage and also pega is asking that what status you want to set okay so we'll learn later okay that how we can resubmit and all we have already learned okay on a basics level how we can resubmit but this is little advanced but for now we're just setting a status resolve rejected so that is how we can do very basics like configurations for single approval okay route to so from the drop down we are selecting uh, a specific user we can select anything we have many things okay reporting manager so let's say reporting manager okay so in single level reporting manager is again so the moment i'm selecting reporting manager we are not getting other options to give so in pega in operator id we have a field where we can configure the reporting details as well okay so let's open this two operator and we'll see this one also okay so i'll open this okay reporting structure and 
so this is like i'm creating operator id so the developer, developer is creating that okay so this user is creating a live request so in work tab we can go and see that reports to to whom we are reporting so let's say uh, this is the manager okay so if i'm saying that i'm reporting to this one so if i create a live request then it will go for approval to this one to this user so that is how reporting routing will work so let's create a request and see that okay and here also in approval safe i'll select that reporting manager so the moment i'll submit and create a request it will go for this person to approval so let's create and see that to whom it is going okay so let's create a live request so just fill some data okay that i want to say clip okay and then give some start date and it and then leave reviews and leave it black okay so now okay so it went to manager okay for this approval a7 so let's log in with that user okay and see if he has received this request for approval okay so let's log off and oh, sorry not with this user this should be another browser yeah so here save and close and so we'll log in so see we can see a7 because why it is coming to a7 because a7 is the manager of the creator okay so if you see let's come back to operator id again so here this is the manager so that is how the reporting structure routing routing or the approval works okay but this is one label okay so we have seen previously a specific users okay today we show how we can route it to a reporting structure as well okay reporting manager okay so these all are the single label okay and i got a question also that how we can configure for cascading and how we can configure decision table for the routing so let's see that also okay so i i hope this will give some idea how we can use a single level single level is still easy okay but let's move ahead with the cascading one so from here cascading one so again cascading one as i explained the definition then it, will, it can go to multiple levels okay so for cascading level what all options do we have first option is we have a reporting structure okay so the moment i'm selecting reporting structure nothing is coming because it will take the reporting structure from the operator id so if you see here we can see the reporting structure as well okay so here let's say if this this person is reporting to someone else okay so i can go to this person peter okay and i can configure another like uh, 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 we can configure the manager of this one to let's say someone else okay let's say andrea here so then what will happen what will happen the first the moment i'll submit a relief request it will go to this person five six seven eight nine okay so this is simon peter and then once he will approve then it will go for another level to andrea so let's see that okay so i'll submit again here sorry as a reporting manager and also in approval level here it is configuration that how many levels we want okay so we can configure to one level we want to configure to all so one level is a single level only so we want to just say custom okay or we can say custom also that levels of approval we can do but for now we'll say all okay and let's create that request and we'll see so if you see we have configured two levels okay so uh, like this operator is creating developer is creating and then it is go it is developer is reporting to this person and this person is reporting to andrea so at least we should see this much levels of approval okay so let's create a request and see that okay so how many levels of approval we are seeing so i'll create a new fresh request okay so here i'll submit i'll select something sick leave and then submit start it and it and create it so see the first uh, i have created and i have selected the reporting manager okay so let's go here in assign this work list we can go and see that to whom this case has been assigned okay we have to go to assign this work list so click on assign this work list so see here five six seven eight nine we can see that this is assigned to five six seven eight nine okay eight let's approve this one and see if it is going to entry or not okay so i'll say approve so again see this case is not resolved okay and it is saying get approval means some level of approval is still required let's refresh this assigned as work list and see see it went to andrea so that is how we can use that reporting manager routing okay so let's approve from the andrea as well now this got resolved because andrea is not reporting to reporting to anyone 
so i hope this will so again so the, the in a reporting a structure first we learn how we can use for single level and this here we learned how we can use for multiple levels okay multiple levels or the cascading levels using reporting a structure okay because in our organizations also we have this reporting a structure right so we go uh, like uh, from manager to senior manager to director okay so that is how we are using the pega reporting structure as well now the next one we'll see so let's close this things okay operator id the next what options we have okay in cascading we have another options is authority matrix so in authority max tricks pega is saying we can configure the decision table as well so let's say how decision table we can use it so let's say you are applying for a leave request only okay and your leave request is sick leave okay and then uh, if your leave request is sick leave and it is more than five days then it should be approved by your manager as well as some hr department okay because you are applying for a sick leave so how we can use that so for that one we need to create a decision table so i have created a determine approval so you can just name this one here if you don't know how to create decision table just write the name and click here this one this icon and it will create so i have already created okay so let me delete this one and reconfigure okay in, in this video only for you okay so i'll click on determine approval and then it is the basic detail it is asking apply to is already filled and then the uh, the rule name and the applications rule set uh, sorry uh, uh, rule set and then the watch so let's create that one one thing which we have to do so what we want to from this one so we want the list of ids who will approve this request who will approve this re leave request so to get that uh, multiple list we need to select this one evaluate all rows in result tab okay so we'll select this one evaluate all rows and then we'll just save it okay so it is not saving because we need to provide some conditions so what conditions we will be giving okay so to give the conditions we can select leave details dot leave type because we want that okay if um, leave is if we are i'm raising the sick sick request save leave request then it should get approved by multiple folks okay so i'm saying leave request then leave type okay so here saying okay and then here we can say sick okay so if sick leave then it should be get approved by multiple folks okay multiple folks means your manager and then the hr manager also okay in this one we can give so here this is little tricky so here it will take a list okay and then how the syntax is so you need to focus on the syntax so we need to give a page list okay so page list is which will hold that list of the ids who will approve that okay so page list i have create already created so if i just select this page list property and select this one it will open so i have created a page list in that leave apply class with the with the, the definition class is that employee okay because approver is also an employee okay so i have created that employee uh, create like given that page list definition is employee and within that i have created a property called approver id okay so let me open this class here then we can see that i have created extra property called approver id so let's see that okay so so here see we have approver id so basically what will happen it will create a page list called approval list inside that the each page list will hold this value approver id so here we'll say approver list and then we have to give this syntax so append means like if you're getting multiple outcome of from this decision table append this so create a new list okay so here on append what we're doing in new rows okay so here we'll say approver id so those things will leave it blank and then here we'll select approver id so this is how we need to configure and save it so now we got this okay sick leave so who is that approver so we can see five six seven eight nine so the moment will will select sick leave okay then this will this person is going to approve okay uh, we want to configure some more conditions so we can we can do that as well for now i'll just what i'll do i'll add another row so from here once we have to select here and select click here we can add another row so here also i'll say sick and for now i don't have any other operator id so i'll say five four five six okay so now basically with this setup okay the two like if we are creating a leave request then we'll get two set of approver okay the, the one is five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six so let's create a leave request with the sick details and then see 
if this request leave request is going to this two person or not so but before that here we need to complete our configuration so we created a decision table and in decision table the page list property which will hold the approval list is that approval list okay so we created that property and inside that approval list which will hold the approver id so approver id is that approver id property okay and then we are leaving this configuration as it is that if it is approved then uh, resolve completed if it is rejected then approve uh, go to change stage okay so just submit it now let's create a request okay first let's create with the uh, not with the leave request we'll create with the vacation cell let's see okay because we should get an error okay we will not get the routing information so i'll select personal leave instead of vacation leave and i'll just say five and then just in this one and create it see it didn't went for routing okay it didn't went for routing because there is a no routing information we didn't got error but there is no routing information so just like uh, it didn't went for out now let's create with the sick leave and let's see if the, the, our leave request is going for those uh, like going for approval to those two person so continue and then select sick leave because how how sick leave because we have configured that property so if you remember our leave type is stored on this one dot leave details dot leave type okay so sick leave and then i'll just sell something some value and then submit it create see it went for approval so the first person from that list who was approving okay five six seven eight nine so let's see 18 where it went okay so we'll again go to a scientist walklist class and see 18 so 18 see five six seven eight nine it went now once i'll submit it will again go for approval to whom it will go one two three four five six so let's uh, approve from this one okay so approve now refresh here and then let's see where that 18 is there see now it went to a uh, one two three four five six and again let's submit it and approve it so now case got resolved because we had only two level of approval now the case will go away from this work list so you can see that how we are using some conditions so this is a very basic conditions i have configured leave type you can configure many so if you have to let's say configure one more conditions okay that's sick leave and then plus i want more conditions so you can click here and then add it like this okay so you can add another condition so how you can add another condition is like leave details and then uh, leave details and then we don't have any property let's say we are giving a start date and end date so we'll calculate those total property total value so i have already created another video to calculate this difference using a declare expressions total number of leave you are applying okay so that that you can use is watch that video and try to use that property here okay that these are the total number of leaves so if you're applying let's say your sick leave is five days it's okay okay you just need one level approval but if you're applying for 10 days you can configure and then give more more number of uh, uh, more number of approvals okay so that is how we can use that uh, cascading approval so here what we learn okay so in approval steps we learn how we can use that single level routing we and then in single level routing we saw how we can use manager reporting managers we'll see sometimes later these combinations participants i have already explained in other video business logics uh, we'll see sometimes later and and we have already seen the specific user now in in cascading approval i showed both the examples okay so first i showed the examples of reporting structure and then also i showed the example of authority matrix using decision table okay how we can configure the decision table is yes in decision table we have to give the conditions and then we have to select in result we have to select evaluate all rows and then here in approval list in action so in basically in return side in actions we have to give uh, approval list and then append so what will happen these these details okay let's say you like we have added 20 rows here so from 20s if 5 are true okay so conditions are matching then what pega will do pega will add these values this one this one to this approval list okay and it will create a page list okay inside that page list we have given approval id property which will hold the value hold the value of those ids so that is where we have configured here okay that this is my list and inside that list we have this is the property which will hold the approver id property and then uh, pega will loop and then send for approval so let's see if you can see somewhere that value inside the clipboard page if we have I'm not sure if it will pega will show that approval list, list no it's not coming approval list is not coming inside the py workbench but i hope this will give some idea okay like how we can use that approval say 
approval uh, cascading cascading approval single of approval approval and you'll be able to do that poc so try and if you face any issue let me know let me know in comment sections and if you're if you're liking my channel then please do subscribe and uh, and, and share these videos with your friends so thank you thank you very much have a good day